Choose him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, uh, my name is uh, Bulus Likita. I'm a soldier. I came from Borno State. Although I am serving in just Plateau State, but uh, I am on operation here in Borno State. Choose him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm a uh, I joined Chosen last year. Last year, 2021. Thank you, Father. I joined Chosen last year, April, but my wife joined Chosen 2020, November. Thank you, Father. So when she called me, I was already on operation that 2020 because I was inducted in the operation 2020. So she called me and told me that uh, she has found a church called Choosing. And I said, inside me, which one is Choosing again now? I have been, we have been to so many churches. We have, I cannot count the number of prophets, pastors, that we sat down one-on-one -on -one together with them. So she called me and I was telling, I said, which one is Choosing? Inside me, I was like, get out, which one is Choosing again? I never knew that she joined Choosing for me. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you, Father. Honestly, it is because of me that she has joined choosing. And so I thank God for making me a choosing. Clap on to God of the chosen. Thank you, Father. So my testimony goes like this. Although before I shared the testimony, so because of she joined choosing, I was like, no, it's not possible. Though. She even telling me that uh, choosing in, the, in choosing, they don't wear trousers, they don't wear a ring, uh, all this attachment, they don't wear it. And so she has already packed her own hmm. and went and burned it. A choosing sister indeed. Clap on to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. Absolute conviction and conversion. So because of that, we, we quarrel, we fight over the phone because I was already there in the operation. We fight over the phone we fought because some of those things, I bought them. Even there is this, uh, uh, this plat th that they use with uh, attachments that I bought it. I remember she, she said she bought it 12,000 naira. that she told me that she has... I said, what? She said she has bought everything. Hmm. And I said, okay, no problem. So, and I told her that even if you are not going to wear trousers or attachment or earrings, I said, my children... I said, my children must wear it. She said, no, our children will not wear it. So we argue, we correct. So that aside, my testimony goes like this. Um, uh, it happens on the... On the 12th of March last year, Boko Haram attacked our camp. Because in our camp, we, had, uh, we have a blocking force in form of a checkpoint. So we do it today. If you go, tomorrow you will not go. Then to next tomorrow you will go like that. So me, I go yesterday. Then today is not my turn. Then Boko Haram came today. And this, one of the soldiers that was killed in that place has packed his own vehicle where I used to pack my own vehicle. That was where he used to pack. And that soldier was killed that very day. Hmm. Hmm. But uh, before then, my wife has attended a program here in Lagos that last year. So she has attended the program sometimes February last year. I have forgotten the, the name of Soro the to name Joy, of from Soro to Joy. It was from Soro to Joy. That was yeah. the program. Yes, sir. So, when she, she came, she said she was able to see Daddy briefly. So, when she, she saw Daddy with my picture, when she showed Daddy my picture like this, Daddy now said, I cancel it, I cancel it, I cancel it three times. But he has not told her what he has canceled. Hmm. Hmm. Clap on to God of the children. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. 
chosen, he said he has cancelled it three times, but did not tell her what he has cancelled. Hmm. So, on the 12th of March, that day that they attacked my camp, they killed some of the soldiers, even we were the one. I was the first person, because I'm a driver, I drove a gun truck there in Northeast. So I was the first person that came outside for reinforcement when they were attacking our checkpoint that we had. I was the first person that came outside. Even Boko Haram could not allow me and the gun truck and the people that were sitting inside the, the vehicle to go for reinforcement. They did not allow us to go close because of the enough firing that was coming outside from them. They was not allowed us to go close. But they too, they have not had enough time to do what they want to do because of the reinforcement that we came. And then, that uh, uh, 12th of March, I did not join choosing fully. Mm. So, on the 29th of March, they gave me pass from uh, the Bruno State there in my operation ground to Joss because I'm serving in Joss there. My family is in Joss. So when I came to Joss, that was when I joined choosing fully. So, on the 13th of that uh, March, they killed two of our soldiers, so we carried one to uh, Meduguri for... Uh, to keep him there in the mortuary. When we were going, I was the one leading the convoy. So when I was leading the convoy, four gun trucks with an ambulance that was carrying the cops. So when we were going, I remember before I joined the choosing, my pastor, my branch pastor now, uh, my wife joined me with him. He prayed for me before I came on pass and joined the choosing. He prayed for me. He said, if my enemies are at the front, God will keep me at the back. And if they are at the back, God will keep me at the front. So when we were going in the convoy, then I now saw one of the Boko Haram gun truck. He now came and turned his vehicle at my front. He now came and turned the vehicle at the front. So my gun now said, look it out, stop. Before he said stop the second time, I matched the brake because I too have already seen the Boko Haram uh, gun truck there, mounted with a big gun on top of it. So when I matched the brake, we stopped. So where they packed, where the main ones are staying, it was at the bend, like this. So I now looked through at the back of the bend. I saw plenty of them with their gun trucks there. Hmm. So I am at the front. God of chosen has prevent me from getting close to them because definitely I should be the one that will first enter inside them. Hmm. Then maybe if I enter inside them, the remaining three gun trucks and the ambulance will just turn and go back. Only me now with my gun truck will enter inside. Maybe they will even capture me alive or kill me there. But God of chosen has exposed them before I get there. Hey! Clap unto this great God, the all-knowing God, the all-wise God, all-powerful God. Thank you, Lord. Sir, so another big testimony I have to share is uh, on the 12th again of October last year. Sir, so honestly, if not for God of choosing, I would have died hmm. on the 12th of October last year. Because it's just this God. It was God that have saved me because I myself, I doesn't, I just see myself doing what I am doing, but I don't know how I am doing it. It happens that we were in a convoy with two brigadier generals, one colonel and other you know, junior officers, plenty of them. We were about 14 vehicles mounted with guns on top. When we came, we passed, we were going, from there to we are going to Meduguri, there are two lanes. Those that are conversant with that area, that from down through to Meduguri is two lane. So where we are going, they now, after us, then Boko Haram attack one of our checkpoints. We call it one of our camp there, yeah, when we passed. When they attack the camp, they now say all of us should stop. We stop. And I'll ask the signaler, that is the radio operator. I say, what is happening? Because it's my mate in the army. I say, oh boy, what is happening? He said, oh boy, they are attacking uh, Gamdu camp. I say, ah, Gamdu. And we just passed. Yeah, not up to three to four minutes highest that the Boko Haram has come with a very large number with hard skin vehicles and attack that camp. So they say we should stop. Then we stop. They say we should go back and reinforce that camp that they are attacking. So when we now turn, I turn my vehicle and pack through this lane. From this lane, I pack here. Then other people turn and pack. Before we started going, the, one of the brigadier general now divided the convoy into two. He said some people should stay on this lane, some should stay on this lane. Then we were going like this. We are going to reinforce that camp that they are attacking. So when we were going, so honestly, it was as if they have packed Boko Haram. They packed them and throw inside us. We mixed up like this together. We mixed up with Boko Haram. Hmm. 
we meet up together with them. If they turn and see soldier, they fire you. If soldier turn and see Boko Haram, they fire him. That was how they fight. That was how we fought that fight that day. We meet up together with them. Not as if they were there and we are here. You fire, you don't. We meet up together with them that day. And again, when the enough firing, confusion everywhere, firing is going on, and I came out from my vehicle. When I came outside from the vehicle, I carried my rifle, I came outside and lied down at the back of the vehicle. Meanwhile, everybody has run. Those foot soldiers, they have run up and entered inside bush. But you that is having a vehicle like a driver and a gunner, you cannot run because you cannot run and leave the vehicle there. Honestly. So I came out. I could not run because of the vehicle. I'm a driver. So I lie down at the back of the vehicle there. My gunner is on top of the gun firing. When he was firing there, I was lying down. Honestly, it was as if one Boko Haram saw me lying down at the back of the vehicle. He was firing me. He was firing. He was engaging. I was just, the blood is just passing me. Piao. Hey! Piao. Hey! Piao. Hey! 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 The God of Chose, you are full of glory. No doubt. Let's clap unto God of the Chose. It's not ordinary, it's the finger of God, different from others. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. And when I came, my, my wife, when I came on pass for the first time that I joined Chose, my wife gave me an apron. I have so many of them. She gave me an apron. So anytime I'm going outside, I used to put it on the dashboard of the vehicle, or sometimes I will tie it on the steering of the vehicle. So, I was lying down. This guy was firing. Was fi the bullet is just passing me. God has kept my head down. I was not able to raise my... I know it was God. And I was not afraid. I was not confused. Again, that day. The boy was just... I was not afraid. So, when their APC, Boko Haram APC, they are, and the APC is this scorpion that has chain, not tire, very strong. The Boko Haram APC came outside from the bush. When he came outside from the bush, all our vehicles and our soldiers, all of them ran and leave only me standing in that place. Hey! Hey! All of them ran. They, they killed all of them. They ran. They ran away. Yes, our soldiers only ran. Only you standing. Yes, only me was standing there. All my so our soldiers with the vehicle, all of them, they were able to turn their vehicle and run and go back. Only me alone, my, my vehicle was facing the Boko Haram. They were like this, they were like this, Boko Haram, and they are coming like this. Only hey. my vehicle was facing them like this, with my gunner on top of the vehicle. And I was lying down under the vehicle at the back. So when this scorpion was coming on speed, yeah, he was coming to jam my vehicle. And definitely, he thought I was not inside the vehicle. And definitely, I was not inside. I was lying down under the vehicle at the back there. So when he was coming, my gunner now told me that, Digital, reverse back, reverse back. If you say you will turn the vehicle here, this guy will come and meet us here. Reverse back. Don't turn. If you turn, and definitely if I say I am going to turn, he will come and meet me here. So, sir, I just saw myself. I get up from where I was lying down. I just saw myself. I don't know how I'm doing it. I saw myself doing something. I don't even know how I'm. I saw myself. I get up. I enter inside the vehicle, put the vehicle on reverse. I don't see myself doing. I reverse back. I, before I met our soldier that was, that had run away and leave me, it was about almost a kilometer before I revised and met them there. And even when I get there, they were like, ah, how do we, they, they, they thought Boko Haram has captured me and the vehicle. They said, how did you manage to come to this place? Now, how did I come here? They thought they have captured me alive and the vehicle. So, even before I turned, when I met them there, before I turned the vehicle and climbed through the other lane there, they were even pitying me. Move, move, run, oh boy, move. I was, I was not even confused. God of children has not allowed confusion to enter me. And he has not allowed fear to enter because some of our soldiers that was killed in that, even they killed one of the driver that was driving the Brigadier General. The driver was killed there hmm. in that attack. They killed him. Honestly, God of Children does not allow fear to enter me at all. I so much give God the glory for this. Give God the special clap offering. Magnify this God of the Chosen, the God of the moment, the really poor made the prayer answering God, the God of the Pastor of Chosen. He's too much. He's too great. He's too mighty. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. And uh, on the 15th of that same October again, 
We were going on the same convoy from my location to Mezuguri again. We met very early in the morning. We met Boko Haram. Hmm. That day they came with three gun truck and one MRAP. We don't have MRAP. We, on convoy, we don't have it. They came with three gun truck and one MRAP. And MRAP is a very good If you fire him, honestly, even if you just fire AA, the AA will not penetrate there. Hmm. So today they have three, sorry, they have one MRAP and a three gun truck. We have only five gun truck, no MRAP. They were coming like this, and then we have a camp, so that's camp by the left, and then Boko Haram are coming by the right, then we are in the middle. When we discovered that it is Boko Haram that we are coming, they already started firing. They were firing from the right, our soldiers in the camp, they are firing from the left, and we are in the middle. Enough fire, enough volume of firing was coming out from the camp of, of soldiers, and again Boko Haram are firing enough volume of fire from the right, and we are in the middle with five gun trucks. And I said, Kai, if I stay here because they have MRAP, and definitely the MRAP, they know that if, even if we fire him, it will not penetrate. So the MRAP, the person who driving the MRAP of the Boko Haram was just driving and becoming. And I said, no, I'm not going to stay here because if I stay here, this MRAP guy is, will definitely come to this place because he knows that our, our gun will not penetrate the MRAP. So the guy was just coming, was driving, I was just coming on speed. That was how I just came down and I'll drive. I wanted to enter inside the camp of, they were firing. I did not enter inside the camp. I zoom up. I enter inside Benesheb, but with enough God of chosen has not allowed one, one bullet to touch the vehicle, talk more of me. Hey! Hey! Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of chosen. Thank you, Lord. And my last testimony for today is uh, I came here from Bonose, from my location. I came here straight to this place. I'm, uh, I am on refer. Even it's, it's the hospital that gave me the pass to come to this place. I'm on refer because of this, my right leg was paining me. Serious. I enter inside here with this leg paining me. Very, very serious. So when I came, to cut the whole story short, when I came on a Friday Virgin, my wife told me, because she has attended so many programs here in Lagos, so she told me that in the Virgin, they don't need to sit down. There is no way that you will sit down. They don't even allow chair there. You cannot sit down. I said, okay, no problem. I will go. Whatsoever it is, I will go. So when I enter inside the Virgin Hall there on Friday, I said, God, I am not supposed to come here with this leg painting me now. So when I sat down, go ahead. When I sat down, before the Virgin started, when, immediately when they start, I stood up. I was slapping my hand. We sing for two hours, from uh, that 10 o'clock to 12. So the leg is still paining me, because sometimes if, I, if, the leg, if I'm walking, the leg is paining me, I will rest like this. Or if I stand, the leg is paining me, I will sit down. So on that day of the vision, we sing, the leg is paining me, I said, I'm not going to sit down. The leg is paining me, I did not sit down. We sing for two hours, I did not sit down. So the leg is still paining me, I'm praying, I said, God, you will hit this leg this night. I'm not going back with this pain. So around two o'clock, to 2 30 honestly the pain just on its own disappear I could power he answers prayer he answers prayer he answers prayer god of chosen answers prayer god of chosen answers prayer he answers Clap on to God of Chosen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. So, when the pain just left me, I could not feel the pain again. I said, it's like the leg is still. I shake the leg, the leg is not pain. Because sometimes, when the leg is pain, it's as if they are cutting the leg. The way I, hmm. I cry with tears because of the way the leg is pain. Hmm. When the pain starts, I cry. I cry, sir. The leg is... It, ah. So, when the pain just left, I said, Kai, no. I shake the leg. Is this right leg that I'm shaking? Hmm. I could not be able to do this leg. I could not be able to do like this that I'm doing. I could not be able to bend like this. The pain left. So when the pain left, I was like, ah, maybe I did not walk as in a bit uh, distance uh, that I will find out whether the leg is still or not. After the vision, I walked from the hall to where I am staying. The leg did not pain me. Hmm. When I finished what I, I wanted to do yesterday during the, uh, for the uh, workers meeting, before I came, I was even fasting. I walked fast 
from where I am staying to this place, thinking maybe the leg will pain. I came here and sat down. The leg did not pain. It's divine healing. It is done. Thank you, Father. Perfect work of God or chosen all the time. And I, after the workers meeting yesterday, I, since when I came here, I came here on Tuesday. Since when I, I did not go anywhere apart from this uh, uh, inside the compound here. I did not go anywhere. Yesterday after the workers meeting, I was able to go outside and go outside like this and climb the main road and go like this and enter through the last gate there and come back and enter to where I'm no pain. Up to now, there is no pain. Again. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of Chosen. It is done. Hallelujah. At this juncture, I want to say a big thank you. I want to say a big, big thank you to the God of Chosen. Mm. I return all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration to the Him and Him alone. I pray for my daddy Gio. I pray for more strength, more power, more grace, more anointing, and heaven at last in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. To the chosen ones worldwide, I pray for heaven at last in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I covered my testimony with the blood, blood of, of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. And I want to advise all the military men and the paramilitary, honestly, if you want to be saved worldwide, military men, especially in Nigeria, if you want to be saved in the kind of work that we are doing, especially in this era, Honestly, you have to belong to choosing. Hey! Thank God. He has said it again. Are you there, my brother? Don't go away yet. Can you listen one moment? Praise the Lord. Thank God for choosing indeed. We rejoice with your testimony. It is so great. It's reminiscent of the several testimonies like this we have had. Of brethren that went to Sambisa Forest, Boko Haram fight, and all of them came back in the face of direct bullets and everything. Nothing happened to them. And you are testifying again today. This God of choosing is so great. If you happen to be around on the combined survey that is coming, if you happen to still be around, we would like you to still share this testimony. You know, so that larger congregation will hear, you know, what God is doing to continue to encourage other military and uh, paramilitary personnel like you have advised that they should all join the Lord choosing for their safety and protection. If you happen to be around, please come and testify again. We rejoice with you. We rejoice with your wife whom God showed this vision and she's running with it and she became convicted, converted 